Hi everybody, how are you doing? I hope you're doing better than me because I'm feeling very sad right now. And I'll tell you why. Because I looked inside my geo database and I had all these layers just mixed in, in with each other. And what I would really like is if I could group similar feature classes in their own groupings, kind of like a folder in Windows. Well, we can do that by creating this thing called a feature data set. So feature data sets are kind of like folders inside your geo database that you can store similar types of feature classes and organize them a little bit easier. So to create a feature data set is very simple. We just right click on our geo database and go new and go feature data set. Now, in the feature data set geo processing tool, it will ask you where you want to store it. I want to keep it in my geo database and give it a name. So let's say, for instance, if I go back to my catalog tab, maybe I want to create a feature data set for all of my storm and water layers. Okay, things like these guys down here. So I would create a feature data set for just those. So I will call this feature data set. Uh, waterworks and I'm gonna to have to give it a coordinate system so the best way to give it a to assign the coordinate system is assign the same coordinate system that you have assigned to your map so I'm gonna go into my map pro data frame properties check coordinate system and I'm using this type of a NAT 83 UTM uh, coordinate system so I'm gonna use that same one in my feature data set that's really important uh, so uh, I could just go current map and it will set that I can also click this little button here and uh, find it in the list as well if I want but uh, you can just set uh, current map and that'll use the coordinate system assigned uh, to the map frame okay and then select run and that uh, geoprocessing tool will run and then now I can go back to my geo database and it, there's my featured data set. Now if you don't see your feature data set just right click on your geo database and go refresh and it should pop in there. Now what you'd want to do here you can notice that there's nothing inside my feature data set notice the special icon but uh, I want to bring all of these layers inside my geo database so if it's the same layer um, what you can do is if I drag this out here something like this so I can see all of my layers drag that down I should be able to select these layers here drag them into my geo database feature data set and just drop them in there now uh, if it says spatial reference don't match then you won't be able to drag them in but what you can do is you can import them so you can go import feature class and if you've got multiples specify uh, multiple feature classes and then you can come down here and add those in manually and uh, there's your output geo database you want to put that in your uh, waterworks feature data set make sure it's going into the feature data set and then click run and that will succeed and then I can close that down and uh, Go take a look. Take a look at my uh, geo database now. My catalog. I'll just dock that back over onto the side there. But you'll notice now in my waterworks. Now I've got a feature data set. So I can click uh, multiple, create multiple feature data sets. For instance, I might want one for all of my um, boundary layers, things like that. So you can create as many uh, different feature data sets as you want and group all of your data inside that. Uh, it's a very handy way to work, especially if you've got a whole bunch of layers and you'd like to categorize them a little bit easier. Okay. What's also nice about this, if I want to bring in all these layers into my geo database, I can just right click or sorry, select waterworks, uh, left click on it and drag it onto my map and it'll bring in all the layers that are contained inside that feature data set. So that's how feature data sets work. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye now.